Okay, good day. And uh, now our group, Hotel 5, we will present about our annual report. Uh, I am Davian Timothy as a group leader. And this is all my friends and my colleague, Anastasia Grace, Aurelia Jenis, Viola Salim, Nikai Jun, Ingrid Teja, Rista, Tamariska, and Walter. Next. So I will uh, introduce the, the first part, the vision, mission, and our target market. The first one is the vision. Our vision is to be the guest first choice by creating memories through reputable service with genuine hospitality commitment. And we have five mission. The first one is to provide the highest quality of service to guests, to offer a memorable experience for the guests, to satisfy the guests' demands and needs, providing a safe environment for our guests, and to increase colleague and customer loyalty. Our target market is leisure and business. This is the table of contents of our presentation. The first one to be presented is the room report. The second one is service facilities and refurbishment. The third one is food and beverage report. The fourth one is financial report. The fifth one is sales and marketing report. And the final one is human resource report. Next will be the room. So for the room part, it will be explained by me and Ralista. So for the room strategy, we apply occupancy strategy. Basically, we just apply like low room rates and to achieve high occupancy. And then we observe the available trends that we'll show on the next slide. And then we forecast the occupancy based on quarter time range. It's like quarter one, how many guests will, is we forecast the occupancy and then quarter two, quarter three and etc. And then we also apply the revenue management strategy we set the low rates to attract more guests to stay in our hotel, but during high season, we put a high rate. And then we utilize previous month result as our benchmark for future forecast. This is our room summary. The, as we all can see from the picture, the highest occupancy is fall on the July, which is on the weekend. Next slide. And then in the showing of the occupancy statistic, the occupancy on the July is not quite so a high number because it's, this one is showing the overall occupancy. Meanwhile, on the July, the higher occupancy only apply on the weekend. Next, as the room performance, we can see. I labeled the March one because we have the RFP for March, but we didn't want the bid for the hotel. And then as you all can see from the occupancy rate, it is increased each month. We also have the rooms out of order because we apply a contract cleaning. Next. For the July until December. We, for the July, we won for the bid. That's why we achieve high occupancy rate on the weekend especially. And then we also perform a upgrade on the room superior one. That's why we have like rooms out of order during September and October. Next. For the room revenue mix, as you can see, um, it shows that the business standard was um, at its peak from January to June, and then also from October to December. And then for the third quarter during the high season, there were more leisure standard guests. Um, for the next slide, Um, it shows the business summary for the room revenue, um, where the lowest room revenue was recorded in January with uh, $473,000. Um, and the highest being in September with over $1 million. Over $1 million. And the total room revenue recorded was over $10 million. For the next slide, um, which summarizes the rooms report, um, shows that 
again in September, um, it was our highest revenue and July was our highest occupancy. In January had the lowest occupancy as well as the room revenue due to the, um, the occupancy rate optimization that we were doing. That concludes the room report. And now my colleague will explain the facilities and services. For the services, we managed to purchase all of the services, but for the first performance, we purchased the one that generate revenue to enhance our revenue. Next. And this is the uh, facilities for, for our hotel. Uh, throughout the year, uh, we are able to uh, gain the retail shop, travel and tour desk, and valet, valet parking and uh, lobby kiosks. These are the one that we can get. And this is the electric, elected refurbishment for our hotel. Uh, we're choosing the contract cleaning, the soft goods redo and uh, renovation for our hotel to increase our percentage or our refurbishment on our facilities. Next. Next. And this is the refurbishment level of facilities, room and public space throughout the year. Um, the highest one is on December. The facilities we gain 35.83%. For the room refurbishment, we got 60.33%. Uh, For the public space refurbishment, we got 70.08%. Okay, so this is uh, food and beverage revenue. Uh, on So the highest we got for 433 thousand and six hundred twenty six and in this month we try to maximize capacity and avoid overbooking so we have better management here and in this month we also try to apply menu engineering for both restaurant and room service and in total uh, throughout the year uh, food and beverage got 3,811,734 dollars. Next. And this is, is our food and beverage cost report. And in here we try to make a realistic budget for the food and beverage operations cost. So both food and beverage cost must remain 25% to 30 percent next and this is the average price check for the food we are available for breakfast lunch dinner kiosk room service mini bar and refreshments and the total of the food check is 16 dollar and for beverage, we are available for restaurant bar, lobby bar, room service, and mini bar. And the total for the beverage check average is $8. Next. So for food and beverage department, we have strategies. And the strategies are to maintain our hotel restaurants position in the market in the hotel industries. We need to keep track of the competitor's price and reevaluate with our own pricing strategies. And we also discuss with the sales and marketing department regarding the restaurant's branding performance and advertisements in order to attract more customers, not only our hotel's guests residents, but as well as the guests outside of the hotel. And in order to reach a high number of the sales and guests, we will do more promotion and bundling packages that we will publish on social media. And our, our forecasting are based on the previous food and beverage reports as it is really helped 
us to estimate the prices in the future. And like what I said in the previous slide that we need to make a realistic budget for the food and beverage operation costs. So but both food and beverage costs must remain 25% until 30%. Next, uh, we need I will yeah, finance department. Okay, and this is the revenue and profit graph of our hotel, which start from January to December. And the highest net profit is in June. And we also having a net loss in the beginner, beginning of the first two months. Okay, next. And this is a cash flow from January to December of our hotel. Next, next, next. And this is the income statement throughout the year of our hotel. In July, we have the highest net profit and the lowest is in February, which is net loss for our hotel. And next, next. And this is a departmental income summary of our hotel. The highest expenses come from the room department, which is 18.1%, and follow up is FMB and other department. And for the income, 70.97% of incomes come from the room department, and follow up will be FMB department and other department. And next, I will pass it to sales and marketing moving on to the sales and marketing department me anastasia and ingrid will explain the result of our department throughout the year as seen on the graph the top three channels that generate more revenue for the hotel are direct ota and travel agent our hotel mainly focus on targeting the sales and marketing for these three channels during the decision making the sales and marketing team allocate more budget on marketing for these three channels. Next slide. The market momentum graphs are divided quarterly. This is the graph for the first quarter. And as we can see on the graph during, during February, the market momentum for all categories is on rank third out of seven. Then in March, the highest market momentum is leisure weekday, business weekday and weekend, package weekday and weekend. Next slide. In the second quarter, package weekday and weekend is on the first rank for two months straight, although it dropped into the third rank for package weekday and second rank for package weekend in June. Next slide. In the third quarter, Leisure Weekend has the best market momentum in July and August compared to others. And in September, Large Group Weekend has the best market momentum. Next slide. In the fourth quarter, Large Group Weekend is ranked first out of seven in October. Then Business Weekend is ranked second in both November and December. Next slide. On average, Leisure Weekday and Weekend, Business Weekday and Weekend, and package weekend are ranked third out of seven from, fe from February until December. This result is in line with our target market, which is leisure and business. Next slide. So moving on to the sales and marketing annual summary, our room market shares is always around 14% through the year and our market share ranking maintained in the third rank, although we ever in fifth rank on June until August. Our hotel spent around 8.67 until 11.23% from the total revenue on sales and marketing. Next slide. So this is the refi strategy for sales and marketing. Through the discussion, we decided to maintain marketing and advertising costs at an appropriate budget which is 8 until 10% of the total revenue. Next. We also using OTA and travel agent as a channels to advertise room. We also maintain high marketing momentum. 
boost occupancy rate by advertising through direct OTA and travel agent channels because based on our revenue mix data, most of our hotel revenue comes from direct OTA and travel agent. So we put higher advertising fee for those channels. Uh, we also advertise on FMB for in-house Next. All right, so this is our feedback from social media. As you can see that during the start of the year, our advertising received some negative comments on social media as some customers are unable to find information about our hotel. But after we revise our marketing strategy, it gets better by the next continuous month and we constantly receive positive feedback. All right, so this is our summary for sales and marketing. The highest market shares of our hotel is in December, which is 14.93%, when the lowest is in April is 14.46%, and the total spending is $1,518,650. And the average spending from total revenue is 9.99%. Next, I will pass to Human Resource Department. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about um, the human resource department. So this is the plan strategy of the human resource department. So um, we provide every department with enough staff for day-to-day -day operation and management. And we train staff to improve their skills and achieve maximum competencies. And we also provide staffing pay and ex ex exceptional services to guests and maintain a low turnover rate. Next. This is the staffing summary chart for the human resource department. So the competence level is between 98% and 100%. The staffing level is between 92% and 105%. And the pay level is 101%. Um, right from January to December. Um, the front office concierge and room attendance decreased steadily from January to December. The turn down service remained the same from May to November. Next. Um, for the food and beverage department, um, the service host and service attendant remains the same from January to June, and the service attendant pro. Food Pro Supervisor, Food Pro Attendant, and Lobby Kiosk and Room Service decreased steadily from January to June. Next. Um, this is the Food and Beverage Department turnover rate for July until December. And um, the Service Host and Food Pro Supervisor remains the same, um, but the Service Attendants and Food Pro Attendant have a slight decrease on October. Bartenders have a significant increase on November and lobby kiosk and minibar decrease steadily from July until December. Thanks. So these are the other departments for the turnover rate from January to J till December. So um, the business center has no turnover rate because we are a hotel. We don't um, provide um, business center in our hotel and the guest laundry has a slight decrease on March and remains the same for the following months. And the telephone remains the same for all the months. Thank you. Okay, so for the repair strategy in the human resource department, we have a three strategy. First is we want to maintain the hotel performance. And then the second, we also want to maintain the high competency services and also associate facilities. And the third is because our staffing level is very low. So that's why we want to increase the resources in the future. So this is the human resource annual report from January until June, which is the highest staffing level is on January, which reached 104.46%. For the highest competence level is on February, which is reached 99.85%. For the highest pay level is on June, which is reached 102.61%.
For the highest gas surfaces is on February, which is reached 99.5%. And for the associate facilities, the highest associate facilities is on May and June, which is reached 67%. And this is the Human Research Annual Report from July until December. From the highest staffing level is on July, which is reached 93.62%. For the highest competence is on December, which is reached 99.32%. For the highest pay level is on December, which is reached 105.24%. And for the highest guest service is on August, which reached 98.88%. And for the associate facilities, the highest is on December, which reached 82%. So this is the human research annual report chart. So we can see in here in the staffing level, we have a decreased number from January until December. Uh, but in the pay level, we have an increased number from 102% until 105%. So for the competence level and gas surface charts is almost the same. So we have an increased number on February and we have a decreased number on March. And for the associate facilities, we have an increased number from January until December. So this is the average from human resource department in annual report from January until December. For the staffing level, we got 95.57%. And for the competence level, we got 99.26%. For the pay level, we got 103.03%. For the associate facilities, we got 71.3%. And for the guest services, we got 98.98%. So, so to summarize all, uh, we have uh, three key summary. Uh, the first one is we finished on the fourth rank. Uh, we are the second one. We are able to maintain the pay level throughout the year, and the final one. Although for the, from the January until August, we are on the fifth rank, fifth rank, but we are able to climb up to the fourth rank from September until the December. Uh, that's all for our presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you.